Hello, my name is Russell King. I will be taking you on a short video on how to resolve conflict in just three minutes using just three steps. Let's get started. The major objective of today's course will be focused on number one, showing you what conflict is at the various types. We'll also tell you the various um, ways, knowledge you need, such as communication, in order to manage conflict and leave you with a take home assignment for your personal use. What is conflict? It is a form of interaction among parties that have differential interest perception as well as preferences. This is the definition of Olin, Nock, and Robin in 2001. This definition is focused on the fact that you want it in different ways. So what are the various ways by which this conflict materialized in workplace or projecting? One of the various ways it materialized is as a result of differential values. We have different values because we come from different backgrounds. We have personal problems at home, we have opposing interests as well as personality conflict of who you are. I think I'm leaving something out here. What is it that I don't remember? Ah, if this is what I'm thinking about and you're also thinking about, then you're right. Poor communication. This is also a major problem when it comes to managing conflict in the workplace and must be tackled vigorously if you need the result that you want. So let me take you to the three steps that you need to manage conflict in your project team. The step number one, you should first of all recognize that conflict has a source and it has a type. So if you know the source from where it materializes and the type, is it a personality conflict or is it a problem one? If you know this, then you're one way to move into solving this conflict, so we move to step two. Now what is in step two? You bring the parties involved in this conflict together and get them focused on their interest. The interest is what will move you to step three. If you can get them focused on the interest, then you possibly might find a win-win solution to take you to step three. And all you need to do is to follow suit on ensuring that this conflict is totally resolved by continuing to review. We'll not let you, without letting you know that the other form of managing conflict which you can decide to withdraw, escape with this, keep suppressing it. Now, did you hit the deadlock? I'm sorry about that, but there's a way out. Mediation. You get a third party to resolve this conflict between these parties, then you're done. But who is a mediator? He's a professional who's got good specialized skills in communication and negotiation to help parties resolve their differences. Today, you have learned that conflict is inevitable. Conflict can be positive or negative. Conflict should first of all be resolved among teams before you use a mediator. You've also learned that negotiation and communication is a key to resolving conflict. Conflict management is a transferable skill, so learn it, use it, and benefit from it. If you for them or need something, you can always get back to me. The take home assignment is for you to reflect on your team conflict experience and use these further references for anything you need. Thank you for participating.